it's Valley Brown the Perfume Don back at you with another wonderful fragrance video. Thank you so much, new subscribers. Thanks for joining my perfume lobby. I really appreciate you guys. If you like fragrance, if you love smelling good, if you love smelling good, then you're in the place to be. Make sure I saw that YouTube is like unsubscribing people. A lot of people said that they usually watch my videos, but then they can't find them anymore. So make sure that you're subscribed if you're not, because I list a bunch of different deals in the community tab so we can all find those amazing fragrance deals and build our collections together and then also hit the notification bell because i recently we went, went live and it's a good time for you guys to ask questions and anything else so yes today i'm going to be doing something really fun i love subcultures i love like underground subcultures that type of things different aesthetics that people play with and also different aesthetics that usually black women or women of color are not invited to the table, the table of. Um, so yeah, I'll hear another outside video. You guys seem to really like the last one. It's raining. It's raining if you haven't been able to tell, if you can hear it. Hopefully it's not too loud, but the wind is just beautiful. It just smells so fresh and clean. In this time of isolation, it's nice to get outside of your home sometimes, get outside of your apartments, outside of your living environments, to just get some fresh air going. You're gonna feel 10 times better. We all need it. But yeah, so Cottage Core is pretty much, it's like, if you guys know Heige, is it called Huga? I forget how to pronounce it, but it was like this Swedish cozy thing to where you would see all these Instagram pictures and Tumblr pictures of people being really cozy thick knits. Um, it also had like a lot of like, what is like lattes. It had people with like thick blankets, fireplaces, uh, cabins, all that sort of thing. I feel like this is an extension of that culture and a little bit more appropriate for like spring, summer. So cottage core is like an aesthetic of like deer, being one with the nature, a lot of greenery, um, knits as well. And then also like light, loose fabrics. There's a lot of white going on with the aesthetic, um, a lot of flowers, kind of like an antique feel. Uh, that's why I brought this out. I feel like this is like super cottage core. I actually meant to bring wine with me, but I, have, I literally have not drank. I'm, I haven't been drinking at all because of in quarantine. Like, that's so lonely to me to drink alone. So I don't drink anymore. I have the same little measly bottles that's been there almost since Christmas. But yeah, like this with like wine or even a cider would be so cottage core. And then also things that are like kind of detaching you from media and like electronics in general. Because right now we're so wrapped up. I know you guys are watching me on YouTube. I'm not oblivious to that. But like we just, I know myself, I devote so much time to electronics and that sort of thing. So I brought out a journal. Um, so it's nice to just sometimes put pen to paper, write out your thoughts, all that sort of thing. So that's why I think this is another really good thing. Of course, reading, I'm really bad about reading, but all those things, let me know if you guys have known about this culture, if you like several cultures, and then what are some things that you're doing that kind of ties into cottage core? It could be like gardening, baking, that sort of thing, just like slow living, I feel like in general. But to accompany that, I feel like I have some scents in my collection that kind of like embodies that as well. So let's get into it. That's why you're here. That's why you're here. Let's get into it. So the first one, this entire brand is just like completely cottage core to me. It's Toka. This is Stella. I really, really love Stella. This is my favorite. I had a few more from the line a while back, but I sold them because I wasn't as in love with them as Stella and Florence. Um, but yeah, so Stella has blood orange, freesia, spicy lily, and sandalwood, and that's exactly how it sounds. Like it smells like dry, if you have ever had potpourri, like that dried orange that's in there, that's what it smells like. The freesia just adds a little bit of like a freshness with the white floral. Um, all of their scents I feel like have an element of freshness. And it does have a little bit of depth because of the, like the spiciness from the lily, um, but yeah. Just the slightest amount of woodiness to where it feels a little bit more natural and earthy. Yeah, I really, really like this scent. Um, that's how it looks. That's the smaller one, the travel size packaging. It looks so, so beautiful. Um, it's, it's raining so pretty. Dude. It's like so beautiful out here, but yeah, I love all of Toka scents. Look at the Toka if you've never tried them before. I think they're available exclusively at Sephora, but yeah, this is like the citrus that I can do. I'm not a huge citrus girl. But this is a nice citrus that actually is transitioning very well. I should I should have some transitioning scent videos coming up soon. But this will transition well from summer to fall. Like this is a really good summer to fall fragrance. 
The next one that we have is going to be from DKNY. I was like hunting, hunting this fragrance for so long. Finally found it at my local Ross and I snatched it up. This is DKNY Nectar Love. And this is pretty much exclusively a honey scent. Um, there are some other fragrances like Marc Jacobs Honey or that kind of thing, but that one smells more like honeysuckle. It's like a white, almost like a juicy citrus floral. This one smells straight up like honey, dripping, not too sappy though, not too sweet, but it's definitely a sweet honey scent. It smells like beeswax, like it's so inviting. I really like this one. I think it's really good because it's almost like one noted uh, what it is, like that's what it's trying to convey, but it kind of is really, really good for like layering. So really, really like this fragrance. And if you like honey scent, sweeter, but not too sweet scents, you really like this one. Again, sometimes sweet scents are kind of hard to do in the summer and warm months. Um, so this is one that actually you can't. This is Decan Wine Nectar Love. Really, really like that one. The next one that we have is going to be from, this actually came from Joss. Her information will be linked below. She's amazing. She sent me all of these fragrances for a really, really good deal. Um, actually free, just paid for shipping, so she's amazing. But this is Lan Van Jeanne, Jeanne. I actually don't know how to pronounce this, but it's a really, really great scent. It's one of my favorite that she sent me. I think you can find this for super affordable. It's probably an older scent, I don't know. But as soon as I sprayed it, I was like, ooh, that smells like berries. And I feel like it kind of embodies the cottage core feel because like fresh fruit, there's always like bowls of berries and that sort of thing. Just like really indulgent, but still good for you kind of foods around. Um, so I really like this one. It smells like, ooh, it smells like raspberries. Oh, it smells so good. It smells straight up like raspberries. Again, really, really fresh, but yeah, I like it. It's kind of like a sparkling berry kind of uh, a perfume. I really, really enjoy this fragrance. So yeah, you guys should check it out. The next one is going to be from a brand that is just like the most enchanting of all time. This is from Lolita. This is Lolita Limpica. Um, the namesake they have so many line extensions and flankers now but this is lolita limpica and it smells like licorice and anise it smells so magical and enchanting it literally smells like an enchanted garden like seriously it has like just the smallest amount of like sweetness but with a twist because of the licorice like it's a little bit a little bit earthy a little bit rough oh my god i'm spraying this perfume and like the bugs are like all over me because I'm sitting underneath this shelter. Oh God, I hope I do not have to move. Oh God, here they come. Let me spray something over there so they'll go over there. That's what happens when you smell good. You get ate up, okay? All right, the next one is going to be so loud out here, you guys. Uh oh. I actually might have to move. But I think it's been like wet. Yeah, let's move. Okay, have to move the party. Had to move the show because it is raining. The next one's gonna be from Jo Malone. I actually have two from Jo Malone. So this one is Jo Malone French Lime Blossom Cologne. Wow. French Lime Blossom. Really, really, really like this fragrance. Again, I always talk about it. It smells like, literally, it smells like if you were to wash your clothes with an amazing fabric softener, and if it's just like, I'm like still getting wet. Let me hurry up, you guys. I'm like about to get soaked. So if you were to wash your clothes with an amazing fabric softener, and then if you just like let them line dry, that's exactly what this smells like. So love that. The next one's gonna be from Riri. This is Kiss by Riri or Brianna. This one smells like straight up like white balls. 
really, really love this one. It's super affordable too, so if you can find it, pick it up. It doesn't have the best longevity, admittedly, and a lot of these don't, but it's so fresh, so clean, and it's just really innocent and demure, and that's what I like about it. The next one is coming from Gucci, so I, I don't wear this one that much, but it has lavender and also has chamomile and it's just so innocent and herbal and I feel like that's so cottage core aesthetic, so check this one out as well. The next one is going to be from Bulgari, so this one is OT Vert and it smells like green tea freshness, like a green tea drink, like that's exactly what it smells like, I love this one so much. The next one is going to be Powdery Magnolia from Zara. So this one's a really amazing one. Uh, it smells straight up like roses to me, like powdery fresh roses. And it is a dupe for the Chloe scent, but when I tell you this has like the best longevity and performance, it really, really does. So check this one out. And the other one that I have from Joe Malone is going to be English Oak and Hazelnut. Really, really love this one. Just as it sounds, it's very nutty, very woody, almost can smell Kind of like tiny or like you're walking through a forest but that's kind of cool too right and the last one just to kind of tie into the like delicious bakery very decadent desserts comfort food kind of a thing i have signorina misteriosa from salvatore ferragamo and this one smells like if you had like berries and vanilla like that's what it smells like or if you have some type of like pie with um vanilla ice cream but yeah so those are the scents that i have in my collection i feel like really fits the cottage core aesthetic let me know what's in your collection and like this video if you like this video because how would i know if you like this video if you don't like this video and i catch you guys in the next one peace